Hey, welcome back to Minecraft Build Challenges. Um, me and this villager are going to have a look at building some stone pickaxes and a stone shovel and uh, also check out some alternative accommodation because he doesn't look that impressed that I've camped up in his house. Um, also, we're going to find a better way to protect ourselves from these zombies that are uh, clawing at the doorway over here. So stick around and see what happens. Hey there, welcome back to Minecraft Build Challenges. Now I'm just having a, a look around at uh, where we've spent the night in this uh, wonderful idyllic village here and I've uh, been looking around at what I want to do next. Now you notice these village buildings are all built out of cobblestone and things and uh, at the moment our tools consist of a wooden pickaxe and a wooden shovel. So what I'm going to do is, um, I've been looking at the space across the river here from uh, where the the village is and I was thinking I might just wander my way over there I really like that sheer wall that it's built out of um, that there has some real possibilities to be turned into something else but we're going to need some better tools and we're going to need some torches um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by uh, making myself a, a stone axe which is going to a stone pickaxe it's going to let me do a lot more very quickly and also um, a stone shovel so I'm going to head over there now I'm just going to jump across the water across this island um, this little box here is going to uh, little hill here I think is going to serve me quite nicely shortly for a, a new base as well I'm going to very quickly get into that one but first of all I'm going to come over to here and um, now this um, sheer face here I really like that I want to keep that pristine I'm going to use it I'm going to dig away some of this here though and take it back to the same level as that face um, that's because I think I'm going to want to build this into a, a castle shortly so I'm going to start with my pickaxe actually I'll, I'll go for my shovel with the dirt because the shovel will get through the dirt a lot quicker and um, I'm going to head my way back into here right and I'm going to pick those up because they'll be useful in a sec and I'm just going to keep working my way back here now, the thing about the wooden tools is they really do help at first getting things going but they don't last a hell of a long time that's fine they don't particularly need to really they're just there to get you started and uh, as you can see they do do a very good job of that okay it's not too long till I get down to some granite here uh, when you dig granite up you can turn that into cobblestones okay. right, and I'll just take out these bits of sand block around here what I'm also doing here is creating a nice clear area around where I'm going to want to build now the um, other side of this cliff here as you can see that comes back and that's sheer cliff again there so I'm going to go back up to that level there, that point. I'll just quickly come out to here. I'll take that out. And I'll take that out. That's going to actually be the wall of a large build. So this is where we're going to get into our first major build. Obviously I'm not starting it too quickly, um, but I will get into it fairly quickly. I'm sort of planning ahead, really. Okay. Now that shovel's not going to last a hell of a lot longer, but that's okay, once it's gone I'll get in and use the pickaxe, because I'm going to need to use those wooden pickaxes up anyway, here we go. And I'm just tunnelling all my way through here so that I can, can get an idea of where the wall edges are going to be later on. Obviously I can come up as well, clear some of that out, and I'm into tree space here. There we go. That's rather fascinating. It's just started raining here in my Minecraft build and it's also just started raining outside my house here as well. 
um, just by strange uncanny coincidence okay so here I'm digging up a bit of dirt and a bit of timber as well the timber is going to be useful it's going to give me some more handles for my new um, tools and pickaxes shortly so I'll just take away that bit of tree there and that's my first pickaxe completely gone start on the second pickaxe right now with the um, pickaxe here I'm also going to start hacking away down here at some of this granite and you see when I pick the granite up it's cobblestone and that's what I need for making a stone pickaxe shortly so my aim here is um, not to really start building so much today but to um, get the materials to make the stone pickaxe with and the stone shovel with which means I can get even more done tomorrow in Minecraft time which will be in a few hours in real time and um, it's normally around about this stage I'd also start considering uh, building some torches but seeing as I've got the um, that village near me um, I don't need to worry about that just yet so I've, I've got a um, luxury of a bit more time than I might normally have there we go which is good because it means I don't have to stress so much finding coal I often think it's better just to wait for these resources that you need to come along naturally rather than strain yourself to try and get them when the, you don't particularly need to in any great hurry right there we go that's um, more than enough granite now there's a bit of sandstone there as well just for a filling in some gaps later, I'll use that to fill in holes when I need to and I've got plenty of timber there as well for the sticks because that's what you need to make your shovel and your pickaxe is um, sticks and stone and what I'm doing now is just clearing out a bit more space while I can while there's a wee bit more sunlight there we go now if you've um, gotten enthusiastic and built something and recorded it and put it online then uh, leave me a link below and I'll um, love to go and have a look at it and, and see what you've done and comment on it and things. And we can share ideas as well and all that sort of really good stuff. That's what the whole platform's about is not just you watching me but um, you putting stuff of you've done up as well so that we can all look at it and uh, sort of collaborate together on these things. Um, I'm thinking of using this um, hill that I'm kind of digging around a bit at the moment as a castle of some sort and possibly building out some other houses and buildings for the villagers to expand into as well. Now that's getting dark in a real hurry, um, the sun's going down, the villagers have already got the lights on over there so what I'm going to do now is pop up here now I'm going to start dropping down some of this um, dirt that I've picked up there we go down here and I'm going to barricade this thing up I'm going to cut some of that dirt away and jump up and just build up a level around here that nothing can climb up onto I know it's raining and all and uh, in the real world I'd be freezing and uh, trying to find out some way of keeping warm but on here I'm not too worried about it okie doke so here we go I'm just wandering around here I'm going to make sure that it's not climbable by anything and I better do it pretty quick I'm thinking because there's going to be zombies out already the great thing is as you dig a bit of a moat around something like this it also gives you materials to start building it up behind you so while I'm building up the 
making a, a bigger ditch on one side, I can come behind me and make a bigger cliff on the other side. Okay, and I've pretty much done that to a point now where I don't think anything's going to be able to get up and get at me very easily. Um, I've still got to get around the other side of this island here, but it is island, so I'm fairly secure in believing that I'm on a fairly good platform here. So that's just sort of another example of what we were talking about the other day with platforms and um, being able to protect yourself with elevation. I'm just going to take my life into my own hands and jump down here. Um, I can't see any zombies coming at me. That doesn't mean they're not coming at me, it just means I can't see them. Dig some more of that away, and I'm going to pop up here. And then dig this away underneath me. Now that one there is going to be very slow to try and dig away. Sometimes you just need to build it up and flag it. Building up sometimes is as good as digging out. You just need to make sure that you're retaining material to work with. I've got plenty of that at the moment. Now technically you only need things to be one or two blocks high, but sometimes I go a bit more than that just because I can. Yeah, it looks like in this version, zombies can get across water. Um, I didn't think they could, uh, but I did have one before wandering across the water towards me. Um, now, that may have been a, a fluke situation and not normal. Um, so, for example, the water may have only been one level deep, uh, but I'm not actually sure about that. So I wouldn't want to uh, assume that and tell you that they, now, that they can't when potentially they can now. Uh, because making assumptions is where you end up, well, dead, basically. A bit like the real world, really. Better safe than sorry. So I'll dig away some more of this. Now I can definitely hear a zombie around somewhere. Not entirely sure where, but I should start being a little bit more cautious about what I'm doing. And hopefully it hasn't spawned on the island here. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, it has. So, now this is what happens when you're a bit slack. Um, you end up with a zombie climbing up behind you that you didn't realise could. And now I'm going to need to make a run for it over to the village. There we go. And then up into here, open the door, climb into there, close the door behind me. And that's what happens when you're um, a bit slack and you just jump out there and um, start doing things. Okay. Um, and I'm going to build my crafting table in the corner of this nice villager's room. Um, thankfully there aren't half a dozen villagers in here. They tend to get really cramped in these small spaces sometimes. While I'm here I can right click on this. Now I've already got some sticks here and um, I've uh, got some some cobblestones so what I can do is um, come and pick a a stone um, pickaxe down here and there's also a stone axe and a stone shovel so that's um, pretty awesome now what I'm going to do is um, I'll start with the stone axe I want one of those so I will just grab one of those there we go so that's a stone pickaxe um, I'm also going to pick up a stone shovel. I only really grabbed enough for one of each of these, so I'll put that down here as well. So there's my stone shovel. Um, I'll move all my dirt to the end so I know where it is. I don't need the sandstone. I don't need the seeds at the moment. I'll put the dirt there because I'm going to use it as a building material. There's some rotten zombie flesh. I definitely don't need that, but I'll put it there so I can throw it away later. 
and I'll put my pickaxe here so I can use it as well. So there you go, I've managed to um, get a few things going. Um, I've got my stone pickaxe, I've got my stone shovel, and um, I've got a few health left, so um, that pretty much sees me right for the day. Um, so I'm going to just leave that there for now, and I'll come back later on, and we'll go and do some more excavating, and I'll turn that small island that I almost died on into something um, a bit more survivable and um, fortified. And uh, this time I'll make sure that it's uh, probably covered, or there's a creeper out there as well. I'm going to stand here so it doesn't explode and kill me. Okay, have a good evening. Um, hope you enjoyed this, hope you found it fun. Um, don't forget to click on the subscribe and notify and the notify all links. Also hit the comments below, tell us um, anything about what you're doing or what you want to see or ideas or things that you do differently to how I have. I'll bring those up. Um, also let me know um, if you're keen on joining one of our mega builds in the future once we get those going and also whether you're keen on uh, joining in on live streaming and Q&A's that we might do and uh, basically you can remote control me by giving me suggestions and we can ask stuff and try stuff out and all of that good interactive YouTubiness. Okay, have a good evening and um, click on those links and I'll see you later. I get eaten by zombies.